What's going on smart people? The goal of this video is to convince you to talk to yourself more. Couple questions that immediately jump up. One, why? And two, what the hell does that have to do with a rubber duck? Let me explain. If you're someone who codes a lot or you find yourself writing a bunch of programs, you probably already know what I'm about to talk about, which is rubber ducking. But I have a feeling that rubber ducking is less widely known about and less widely used by physics majors, and that's why I want to talk about it today. So what is rubber ducking? Within the context of coding, rubber ducking is a process where you find some inanimate object, like a rubber duck, you put it on your table, and you explain to it the big picture of what your code is supposed to do. You then continue to break down line by line what your code is doing until you get to the point to where the code isn't doing what you thought it was doing. And as silly as that sounds, this is a widely used method of debugging your own code because we can all be victims of confirmation bias. If you start to read through a problematic code, eventually you're going to start convincing yourself to say the magic words, it should be working. But in reality, if it should be working, it will be working. And sometimes when I have a code that wouldn't work, I would be a little bit too vague inside my head when I would try to debug. Like I would say something like, that block is doing that, that's doing that. Because I know what I'm trying to do. Rubber ducking forces you to tackle debugging in a pedagogical way because it's almost as if you're teaching the rubber duck the code that you're slowly convincing yourself should be working. Now I don't actually have a rubber duck but I do have a pop Goku figurine that I will put on my desk and I will I will explain the hell out of my code to it. I will say this value is being passed to- Oh no it's not. That has happened to me literally billions and millions of times. Now I've been talking about using rubber ducking method for coding but I hope this rubber duck slaps you in the face with how readily you can apply this to physics. Does this sound familiar? you're working on your homework, you can't figure out one of the problems, your professor posts the solutions later without the work, a couple weeks later you start reviewing the homework to prepare for the exam, you go through all of the work and you're not getting the same answer that she did, hmm, I wonder who you could explain this problem to. Explain in detail why you're doing what you're doing, why are you using Gauss's law instead of Coulomb's law, why are you using those limits of integration. Force yourself to confess what you do understand and what assumptions you're making. But for the love of God, make sure no one's home. I can't think of anything more embarrassing to walk in on than someone when they're rubber ducking. So next time you're stuck on a problem or some code, give this a shot. Let me know in the comment section how rubber ducking helped you, and I'll see you guys there.